Hello? Finally, you are here. Yes, yes. I'm a talking book. Get over it. Look, you're probably wondering what you're doing here. I promise that it all makes sense soon enough. For now, you're gonna help me! I'm trapped, you see, and you are kinda trapped in here with me. Sorry about that. I'll explain everything along the way. First things first, though. We'll need to get the cube. Can you find it? Alright, thanks for joining me. <laughs> um, we're playing Escape First Alchemist. And I have to admit, it is not a complete blind playthrough. I already played through up to one puzzle, and then I got upset and I rage quit. So, anyway, hopefully I can make this as coherent so it'll, you won't be as traumatized as I was by this one puzzle. I am once again reminded of my trip to Karo so long ago. The conversations I had with my colleague, who I assumed was insane at the time, he was speaking of having dreams, dreams about meeting a god. Later, right before he was ushered away to that awful institution in London, he grabbed me and whispered to me, The way is open. We must break apart. Then we can be gods. One, that is three. Now I'm beginning to understand what he might have been trying to tell me. If only I had listened. Bells are repellers of witches and evil spirits, and their sound is symbolic of creative power. They were used by alchemists to conjure benevolent spirits to guide them. They were worn as amulets and hung from the necks of animals important to the community. Cats, dogs, and... I didn't know that. I, I hang bells off my dog's neck so that they can, uh, so the bunnies have some warning that they're being chased. The sun represents happiness, success, and positivity. So here's our part of our first puzzle. T N L. And we have the fool denotes new beginnings, unpredictability, and a carefree attitude. Toss that down. Alright, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Spells element. A combination lock! How absolutely unimaginative! Judgment represents self-reflection, redemption, and judgment. Not completely useless. Thank you. Justice symbolizes fairness, truth, and responsibility. Something is missing here. Horn. Horns are an animal's weapon, so this horn represents strength and aggressiveness. It symbolizes the power of dignity of the divinity. Horn gods usually represent warriors, used to start or close a ceremony since ancient times. Hey, this looks important. Nine twenty and seven Ah, 
the cube. It's quite the treasure. Took me many years to research and study its secrets. It also makes for a nice footrest. Does it though? It seems awfully textured for a footrest. Ah, the tools of our trade. Here we can bottle fame, brew glory, and even... <coughs> Never mind, you get the idea. We make potions here. The lovers signifies love, passion, and connection. The great work, magnum opus. I did the research. I ran the experiments. I searched for answers, all inconclusive. If there is one pattern across all my peers that attempted to walk this path, it is this. They were all declared insane. They all died or disappeared during their experiment. The work they left behind seems incomprehensible, as if it only made sense to them. Ooh, red. Sulfur. Mushrooms and chalk. Be it Lux, let there be light. The Queen of Pentacles symbolizes material wealth, practicality, and physical manifestation. The Hanged Man portrays sacrifice, forbearance, and letting go. Many shapes, many names, all the same, all to one end. If I am to do this, I will need help. But how can I find help with something I must do by myself? We're gonna... It's a bit dark. Nothing we can't fix with a bit of alchemy. Behold, we banished the darkness. You know, for what it's worth, I'm sorry for what I'm putting you through. I mean, you probably are not sure what you are even. I barely understand our situation myself, if I'm honest with you. I promise you, though, that at the end of this, it will all make sense. All of it. Honey, now we can make ourselves tiny! <laughs> Adding the recipe for shrink potions to the recipe book. The honey. Yeah. Rat tail. Rat tail. And. And drink. There's a potion that can make you shrink, and a cake that can make you grow. The cake, however, is a lie. <laughs> oh man, the the cheese and corn that it's serving, but that's okay. Well. All right. Oh, look how small you've become. <laughs> I believe that's useful. We are making progress. You and I make a good team. <laughs> a crystal ball, also known as a crystal sphere, is a fortune-telling object. It is generally associated with the performance of scrying and divination. 
John Dee claimed that the crystal sphere was given to him by the angel Uriel, who instructed him on how to make the Philosopher's Stone. Advanced potion making. The tower signifies sudden change, upheaval, and chaos. The Atham. An Atham is a, a ceremonial blade used in magic traditions. It typically has a black handle and is used to channel and direct psychic energy. It is one of the four elemental tools in the occultism, representing fire or air. It is not intended to harm or draw blood, but to create boundaries in the magic circle. Hollywood lie to us. The morning. Okay, sorry. Uh, the moon and the sun, a, sh a ship and a shell, the treasure of yours, if this rings a bell. So that is for Leos. Okay. Uh, sun or the moon and the sun, ship and a shell, and a ring and a bell. Yay! The smell of rot, in spite of how it looks, a rather useful alchemical component. I'll add the recipe to your book. And we're back. Go. Oh, that rug is a tripping hazard book. And bat wing. Maybe this one could disentangle some problems. Not gonna say it. Not gonna say it. Okay, wait. Vines! Ugh, disgusting, hideous, slivery vines! He's such a drama queen. <laughs> so long, vines! I fought in your general direction! <laughs> oh, man. I, I still gotta say I love the game for the Monty Python reference. this work all right this this there and I will come back to that in a minute symbol for human enlightenment. I'll add the recipe to your book. Pine cone, wing, and egg. Where we're going, you will need eyes to see. Enhanced eyes! Behold! 
found it. Personally, I never liked illusions, but they are useful. I think I got all the ones that I can get at the moment. Gonna need to drink it again. Was expensive. Was it? Was it though? The Tower of Elements. Ta 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 ta. I don't remember this being here. Found it! Personally, I never liked illusions, but they are useful. The first phase is complete. Will it suffice? Will I understand? What decisions will I make? I have no regrets. I have no fear. My only enemy is time. A silver coin! Nice! This way, we'll put that in our inventory. Alright, this was the puzzle that made me rage quit. It wasn't this spot, but uh, let's real quick. We gotta go take a potion, or make a potion. Make a couple potions, actually. something but we'll figure it out in a minute oh it's because I haven't made it okay all right so we're gonna really quick we're gonna drink this potion and then we're gonna turn the side off for a minute so the first part with this is you pull the lever where the steam is. So this one will be this one for that one. Okay, for the next bit. Alright, 
Now this is where I rage quit because I couldn't understand how this puzzle worked. But it's basically, you pull the levers uh, that match the color. Now how do you know what color the lever is? Well, it was through a lot of trial and error, but I'm gonna give you the, the sh I'm gonna tell you what it is. It is, this is green, blue, yellow, pink. So right now it wants me to pull the green lever. Green, yellow, pink, yellow, pink, green. All right, and now the sight. It's alive! It's alive! I realized I didn't read this. Uh, a talisman is any object ascribed with religious or magical powers intended to protect, heal, or harm individuals for whom they are made. Talismans are often portable objects that are inscribed with magic texts. The Empress signifies motherhood, fertility, and nurturing energy. The room of night and day. Key to some of my weirdest experiments, including the one that led to our little uh, predicament. Now, where do you suppose this goes? Uh, well, since we're right there, we'll go drop it off real quick. Go. We'll be right to back. What we're gonna do is go to the one that took me the second longest. So these are all the banners that you made appear. They tell you what you need to know for this machine here. So there's that. And then we get the other codes here. Which lines when over when lines overlap, they cancel each other out. Alright. That's one. The air jam is finished. The elemental water jam is ready. Behold, the gem of Earth. One more left. Wish I found this one the hardest to make. 
There it is. Okay. Then we'll just get this one. Well done! You've made us a fire gem! The Grimoire, a textbook of magic one could find in them instructions on how to create talismans and amulets, how to perform magical spells, and how to summon supernatural entities, and how to recreate an uh, alchemy formula. Something's clearly missing here. It's got the right one. All right. the moon eye. Ooh, a golden coin! We're rich! That's a jerk. This one is like uh, in the demo that we played. You match them up. an eagle feather we can make potions of lift now adding the recipe to your book Want an egg? Now, if gravity makes things go down, this potion makes things go up. Simple. Going up. An ammonite fossil. Fun fact, we can brew a chronomantic concoction with this. I'm adding the recipe to your book. That means... But okay, sounds like fun. Time potion. Dangerous, but oh, it's so very convenient. Green. Sulfur. Uh, time is but a loop, a loose stitch in the universal claw.
light potion. Oh, quite a, a couple of potions, to be honest. All right. Um, at this point, it is a, a blind playthrough. So I'll try not to stumble around too much. I am told that I'm over the worst of the puzzles. Well then, I just realized um, it gives you the instructions of how to use the book, and then at the end it says, "The end, unless thou sucketh, in which case thou must tryeth again." That's an important-looking book. The devil represents temptation, desire, and addiction. Way. The Ankh symbol represented eternal life in ancient Egypt. It may represent water, air, and the sun, which was meant to provide and preserve life. It was placed in sarcophagi to ensure life after death. Well, hello there. Wait, but be for right this second. sure why I did that at the moment. There's one more thing I do want to fix, so we gotta make one more potion. The cube is complete! The transformation progresses!
Meteor. Rock. Alright. Nope. I think it failed. Oh, nope. Well, please be careful with that. Lots of fragile things around here. Oh, now you're worried about it. Now you're like, things are fragile. Don't break stuff. Thought of that before you gave me the potions. I'm gonna be all drunk with power. I'll do that in a minute. Back up. Was the other one? Uh, downstairs, wasn't it? Yeah, it's downstairs. It's an obelisk, sunk in sand. Clearly some sort of allegory or metaphor. I actually don't know which one that would take. Would that be the time potion? Crystal of Mercury, a symbol of mind. <laughs> no quitting now. I must go through with it. This is insane. Should I scream for you? Let us scream together.
Uh, death represents transformation, endings, and new beginnings. Uh, the magician embodies creativity, manipulation, and the power to manifest one's desires. Crystal of Sulfur, a symbol of the soul. The crystal of salt, a symbol of body. switch with that I've got my corners correct red The Staff of Light and Shadow, 
When these two come together, life is born. But we still need one more piece. That's the key. That's what we are doing here. That is why we are here. The king and queen, gold and silver, the chemical wedding. We have created Quicksilver. Ha, yes, the chemical wedding succeeded. The horn is now charged. Checkpoint unlocked. Sweet. What here? Open sesame. It is the yeah. Okay, oh, I didn't remember I didn't need to remember them. I didn't. Let's start with this one. Pretty easy pipe puzzle. We've charged the water gem. <laughs> I'm going to assume we spin this. Spin me right round, baby, spin me. Thank you for watching me in my idiotic moments. The gem of air is now perfected. You are indeed also keeping track of the pattern. Pattern is your clue.
The Earth Jam is full of energy! The fire jam is now charged. We powered all the elemental gems. Now we're getting somewhere. When we first built this place, we did not fathom the true width of knowledge. As men, we were limited in our understanding. We had to change, split ourselves apart, empty our cup so we could become whole again. All is ready. Now I simply await the great day when the great gate will open. The pharaoh's new. Soon I will know as well. Ace of Swords denotes conflict, communication, and mental power. The skull. In most people's minds, the skull is connected to the representation of death, fear, danger, and mortality. Yet many alchemists use skulls as symbols of protection, power, wisdom, strength, and gratitude toward life. Colorful gems. Bye bye, colorful gems. That's it. The philosopher's stone is complete. The great work is done. All that remains now is the final step a leap of faith. One that you must take alone. What do we do that? Halfway there!
Well done! I think this book is somehow linked to one of the obelisks. Hold on. down triangle boop, boop. of light you know the nature of duality is uh, it's an integral part of what we are trying to do here light and darkness up and down yin and yang me and you The truth! It's close! The Emperor embodies authority, structure, and leadership. The chalice represents unity, can be empty, and can be full. It is connected with all notions of purification and transformation, living and healing, energy and manifestation. It is the object of a spiritual quest, the Holy Grail. You've been unlocked, curious. The moon symbolizes fear, uncertainty, and subconscious desires. And that is the all of them. Okay. I think it's safe for us to go finish the game.
Alchemist, what do you seek? Wisdom, truth, or understanding? Understanding. Alchemist, why do you seek it? To reach a conclusion? To take the next step? Or because I can? Take the next step. Uh, where do you seek it? To the end of existence? Only within myself, between life and death. Do you seek it between life? Uh, between life and death. The answers lie beyond the gate, beyond life. Now, the choice is ours. Proceed beyond life, or turn back and live. Are you going to save here? Of course not. Of course not. The gate, our end and our beginning, destiny made manifest by mortal hand. But was it really our own will that led us to this? This much is true. We will be gods, yes. But we also came from this place in the beginning. Understanding. Uh, who is uh, to take a next step? Try only within myself. The answers lie beyond the gate, beyond life. Now, the choice is ours. Proceed beyond life, or turn back and live. I choose life. And it's. I haven't made enough potion. Hi. 
time. Time is all we have as mortals. What lies beyond the gate, beyond life and death, I was not ready for it. I still wanted time to live. Looking back at it now, would we have made a different choice? Did we really have a choice to begin with? All right, that is uh, Escape First Alchemist. A pretty short game between two to three hours. If you have the puzzles memorized, you can fly through this pretty quick as a speed run. Um, thank you for keeping me company, and I will be back soon with something else.